Hey guys, so we got the April numbers in for the Vancouver real estate market. Uh, the numbers came in about a week or so ago, but better late than never. So as I've said before, these numbers are going to be the ones that are most telling to see what kind of impact COVID has had on the real estate market. So roughly kind of off the top of my head because my notes are over there. Um, sales are 39% down compared to April 2019 and they are 56% down compared to uh, March 2020. Newly listed homes are 56% down compared to April 2019 and 47% down compared to March 2020. So to me and to I'm sure most realtors, there's no real surprise there. And even to people who are in the market or, or are actively watching the market, there's probably no real surprise there. Um, but that's, like, that's good news because it's just been a big drop in volume, right? If there was a lot of listings and very few sales or vice versa, then, we would, then those things would have a great impact on prices. But it's just been a decrease in volume and prices haven't really done much of anything. So for anybody that was in the market that pulled back because of what's going on in the world, um, I'm sure there's a concern of you know, what's going to happen in the real estate market and is it going to you know, negatively impact me or <coughs> excuse me, or is it going to positively impact me? So as far as right now, from what I'm seeing, um, it hasn't done anything. It's just kind of stalled out. It's, it's really like somebody just sort of hit the pause button. What's going to be more interesting is what happens from here on out. So I've noticed that the amount of um, showing requests and just general inquiries have picked up. So I definitely think that, you know, the real estate market will gradually will gradually pick up pace. Um, and especially obviously as people get more comfortable and as businesses are allowed to reopen and that sort of thing, I don't, um, I don't think it's going to be like anybody's opening floodgates and everyone's just going to you know rush back in and dogpile back in. There's a part of me that kind of feels that as things continue to progress and people do get more comfortable and, and just what I mentioned earlier, um, I have this feeling that I think we'll probably see more listings than sales happen for a little bit. Um, and that's just a hunch. I just kind of, maybe it's based on sort of the, the inquiries that I've gotten and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, anyways, of course we'll see. Now, something else just to keep in mind, right? I mean, if, if as far as like the, the information that's put out there by us realtors, right? I mean, for the most part, videos like this, it's a very general, it's a very general overview of what's going on in the market. Um, I had a client call me the other day and was saying like, hey, you know, it's a, it's a buyer's market. And, you know, they heard that on the radio or they heard that, it doesn't really matter where they heard that from, you know, and if I look at the, the numbers the real estate board puts out for all of Metro Vancouver, it's a buyer's market. There's eight plus months supply of inventory. So anything over six is gonna be pretty much a buyer's market and that's what it is. But I can also show you areas and price points and property types that are heavily a seller's market. So all I'm saying is that this information that people like myself are putting out is a very, it's a very general overview. And I, and I always say this, um, find out if you're planning, if you're in the market or planning on being in the market or doing something in the near future, find out what's happening as it pertains specifically to you, your price point, your property type and the area, because it will differ than what the general overview is. There's a, there's a high probability it will differ. So um, if you're just kind of curious and following along, then this information is going to be good for you. Um, that's about it guys. Um, obviously, if you want that more detailed information, it's super easy to get a hold of me, call, text, email, post a comment down below and that sort of thing. And I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, you know, we're not out of this situation that this global situation that we're in. Okay. So stay, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and let's keep our wits about us when we are going out in the public. There are some very crowded places over this last weekend. It was a beautiful weekend and there were some really crowded places is probably overly crowded for the the situation that we're in right now so let's let's be smart let's have some fun though right and let's stay healthy